welcome love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. Let no man, nobody deceive you by any means, for the, the day of the Lord's return shall not come unless there is, is first a falling away and the lawless one, a man of sin, be revealed, a son of perdition. And this is that man, a brother of a, another mother whom I personally do love. And uh, this is a extraordinary man who is getting quite rich off of YouTube. He has easily over a million followers between Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms that he has. Uh, this guy is making money, hand over fist. He's a uh, his name is Morgan Knight. He is a freak show uh, graduate, having been a sword swallower most of his life. That is why the Bible says in Revelation 13 that some guy in the future would die by a sword. Who dies by a sword? That was actually literal because this guy's still swallowing it. He's got some kind of Freudian thing, Freudian thing going on. Anyway, but the truest truth is this character is uh, very intelligent and I understand why he has turned on religion as hard as he has because he was really hurt by it and religion can indeed be a very hurtful thing so uh unto this guy i i send uh, a big thumbs up for a funny video that he made of me and uh <laughs> made me laugh and if it made me laugh that's pretty good but uh, i'll show you that in a moment but in this hour he, uh, he opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, above all that is worshipped. This guy, uh, keep your eye on this guy because he is a magician of sorts. He knows how to uh, uh, run his business. But one thing is for sure, about a month ago, I started attacking this guy because uh, he is the lawless one. Uh, and uh, I will show you now his, um, how you say, his 666 with him, his Hyperion uh, symbol. He is a Antichrist wannabe. However, I have discovered there are two Antichrists in the world. The main one of worst concern is Vladimir Putin who has cut the earth a big new one making Russia into the smelliest asshole sphincter of uh, all history because of what is ahead the nuclear component and these days must be cut short by God's word by his word of love or else we're all going to be in deep doo-doo and everyone who stands against the ministry of the kingdom age covenant that has now made all faith obsolete as hebrews 8 says will get diarrhea shit dung crap pie up their nose like a rubber hose don't do it fall on the rock don't let the rock fall on you and grind you to a powder and so in this hour it's time to look at the 666 but be not frightened because revelation 9 4 says this uh that uh, the bottom line is the lord god will put the mark of the lamb 777 sealed upon any people who will keep their love alive as a child and who will not commit the unforgivable sin of letting our love go right out for Christ is the love living within us. There is no good man. We are all, all are anti-Christ. Every single one of us. There is no good man. Romans 3, 10 says so. But when Christ comes alive in us as a, a little child with our love being unconditional, then we're pretty good even when we are sleeping. 
of Vladimir Putin in this hour. He is the king of the north of Daniel 11, who has attacked the king of the south, and he has been losing. He goes back home, according to Daniel 11, and then he attacks again with all the ferocity that he can muster up because he represents the great bear of Daniel 7, 5, and Russia has heard the words, now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like as it is written. And these are the days of the, the secret uh, vision of Fatima. Uh, and the good lady said that if Russia did not become consecrated unto love, that they would have the capability to destroy the earth and probably would unless the spirit of love begins rising across the lands and actually it has begun a new awakening is in progress so look now at morgue official whose name is death and uh, death is he living death for his is a religion of atheist atheistic glory and uh, he declares we are gods and that is true because that is exactly what Jesus said in John 10. We are gods and we are angels or demon wannabes in the flesh. That is the truest truth. The Bible says that after, uh, in the afterlife, we will be as the angels, neither male nor female. The Bible says the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former. The Bible says that the first are last and the last are first. The Bible says that in the last days all the creation would be groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who the hell the sons and daughters of God really are. The Bible says of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands. Command ye me, Isaiah 45, and I did. I am Daniel, the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. The end time revelator ignored, having done everything in vain, Isaiah 49, 4. Two years preaching to white noise here at this channel because people cannot entertain the truest truths. And so let nobody deceive you. This guy has come. And now arises a new eclipse, eclipse of all rationality, of all logic as people throw theirs away following a guy pointing towards no God at all. And man, is this guy being celebrated and getting rich and doing it. And here is this uh, video that he made of me. It's funny. Absolutely hilarious. And uh, but the the point is this: I have made a lot of videos accusing Morg of having empty religion. His Hyperionism, he founded it on the principle of being able to bring world peace and unity amongst all men, which he could never possibly do. The only thing that can do that and will do that, so we can even have a kingdom age, is the unification of people because of God's everlasting covenant 
of his everlasting gospel that was to be given to Israel and all mankind in the latter days as Jeremiah 31 1 and Jeremiah 32 27 says because in this hour Israel has a new name Prislam Isaiah 62 2 and because of that they have inherited all mankind Isaiah 54 3 why because God has now brought all religion to the place of being obsolete Hebrews 8 and now he's tearing down the veil Isaiah 25 removing the gross darkness Isaiah 60 Micah 4 and so that he will remove his rebuke from off all the nations Isaiah 25 and how does he remove his rebuke the message of Malachi 3 1 that prepares his way Malachi 3 1 and what is that message uh, it is the kingdom age covenant uh, of glory of unconditional love with no conditions on his love at all given to all people in the latter days as Jeremiah 31 1 says and if God did not do this he would be a liar so what is the message of Malachi 3 1 that prepares his way it is this it is him saying I am your God to all people of love who does not commit the unforgivable sin who does not uh, uh, let their uh, love die as they go and stand in the land of the walking that who does not uh, gain a form of godliness but deny the power of love living within them who does not commit the unforgivable sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit by kicking Christ right out of us so that we have to go in, into the outer darkness of lovelessness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth into a hell of our own manufactured by our very own lovelessness. And so in this hour, it is time to look at the flames of love. Liquid are they they and they arise to become a, a, an inferno in front of everyone who would have their love moving forth as the Lord would like not standing still not becoming stagnant but in motion alive as it was when we were a child that is why Christ said we must become as little children again or we cannot inherit the kingdom of love so uh, revive your unconditional love let it thrive so you can finally be alive and, and, and not just survive and so back to more check this out now So, this is the true face of Morgan Knight. And he is a good showman. I'll hand him that. And make sure you check out his sword swallowing. But one thing for sure, he, instead of, uh, instead of meeting my challenge for debate for the good of all people, he snubs me by a one-minute uh, funny and the joke is on him because everything in his ministry is in vain. And it seems like mine has been much more than his. It is of me, it is even foretold that I would do everything in vain. Isaiah 49, 4, for I cry out from the wilderness of the ignorance of the fullness of love. I have seen the fullness of Christ's love because I believe the Bible. I believe that early Christians said we are Israel and all the prophecy is for us. And that is exactly what happens. So it's time to look through the veneer of that which uh, seems not so apparent. Let's look deep at this guy who mocks the green-eyed monster that he preys upon, which is unsuspecting fools that would uh, imagine a world without a creator, which is absolutely ridiculous. So it's time to get with the real understanding. Who is this character? Is he really detrimental to humankind? Uh, if you want the answer to those and more questions, 
Come on back in a moment. Behold the Hyperion symbol, 666. And this is Hyperionism of the Lawless One. And in this hour, he is revealed uh, as one who would influence the masses. And so in this world that is in days just like the days of Noah, this is the Antichrist wannabe who would bring forth the, the dreaded number of the beast. And yet there are many antichrists. And so in this hour of uh, the revelation of the lawless one coming to pass, it is time to look beyond the boxes that we have put our understandings in and realize that the word of God declares in the latter days he would bring forth the mark of the Lamb, 777, as Revelation 9, 4 says, and that is what will be indelibly stamped upon the loving spirit of all people not committing the unforgivable sin of becoming loveless. So get ready because you don't even realize where this is going. This is the new world order he desires to see. Lights go out though in his brain. Ad Astra to the stars is what uh, Morgan preaches. But his world is again light going out. And so it would behoove everyone listening to my voice to keep their eye on Morgan because uh, you need to walk behind your enemies so you can see where they are going. He is not my enemy. He's the enemy of uh, anti-love. And he is, he is not going to be fanning the flames of love because without a creator, we cannot forgive ourselves. It is outside of us and it is within us. So the, the distortional understandings that he is getting people to buy into keeps them with their eyes completely shut as they look at the mark of the beast that they are embracing within their darkened spirit uh, with the rejection of he who is love living with inside them. For all those who love are born of God and know him because he is love, 1 John 4, 7. So keep eyes wide open and behold the lawless one. And you don't even realize where this future is heading. Ominous and very eerie and scary is it. And if we will not open up the eyes of our heart, the 666 of an ungrateful world will consume it in these days as Elijah. And where it would culminate in climax is a world where there will be no birds, no fish, no mankind left at all within these days, exactly like the original days of Noah, as Zephaniah 1.1 declares. And what should be scaring people is that all the fish made it during the very first oblivion, but in the one right around the corner, our total end of all mankind, as Isaiah 24 declares, Deuteronomy 18 declares, as Acts 3 declares, Matthew 24 22 declares the total end of us all as Jesus said in Matthew 24 22 these days would be cut short if he could everything in the Bible is conditional upon us opening the eyes 
of our hearts. But if the people of God will not embrace the truth that is necessary to beat our sword and to sickles, to learn the ways of war no more, then this earth would erode away quickly under the wretchedness of our very own unloving selfishness that this world truly embraces like its warmest pillow.